Now this combo was a happy accident where I was trying to do other things, but I'm also happy to teach it to you all. Drex here from DrexFactory.com, bringing you poise spinning and flow arts to benefit your body and brain. And today I am drilling down at the second combo from my This Is 40 video, cause I really enjoyed making it and I wanted to teach you all some of the cool dance that went into it. Before we dive in, I just want to give a quick shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Flow Toys, Pyroterra Light Toys, LMF Props, Spin Balls, and Ultra Poi for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about all these amazing companies and the work that they're doing to support flow artists like yourself by checking out the links that I've got down in the description of this video. So this combo was actually a happy accident that happened like when I was out flowing, just walking around one day and everything. And I liked enough of the pieces of it and I saw where they could go such that I knew that there was something really cool that I could go to with it and everything. So now that's what I'm teaching you all. So to get down this combo, you're going to need the following tricks under your belt. You're going to need to know how to do in-spin flowers, specifically in split time, same direction in wall plane. You're also going to need to know how to do both your top and bottom stalls, because uh, we're going to go out to the side with those and everything. You're going to need to know how to do some basic pendulums, as well as uh, pendulum stalls, or uh, isolated stalls and everything, which we'll get into a little bit in this video. Um, you're also going to need to know how to do vertical snakes, as well as corkscrews. I will include links to tutorials on all these tricks down below uh, and you can access them either there or up in the cards if you happen to be watching this video on YouTube. I'm going to show you the combo at full speed, take you through it step by step, and then show it to you again in slow motion. <music> Cool, so unlike a lot of the combos I've been doing lately, this is actually a combo that works best with the poi out at full length, yeah? Um, and that's partially deliberate because I just found that that moment when you're doing the little um, point isolation stall there uh, just works better when you have more room to work with. The less room there is to work with and everything, the, the less it reads, um, but yeah. Anyway, so here's where we're going to start on this one. Namely, we're going to go ahead and get our poi spinning in split time, same direction out to our sides. And we're going to kind of let the poi flow past each other in such a way that we wind up with a pedal on top and a pedal on bottom. Then we're going to do pedals to the sides. Then as we do pedals top and bottom with the left up and the right down, that becomes our moment to stall the poi out to our sides. So all together that winds up being the poi come through and top bottom, sides, top bottom to stall. And from that stall, we're going to have this moment where the poi are kind of going back and forth in pendulums. This is going to be really familiar if you uh, learned my combo from last week, namely um, the combo that utilized this moment uh, in order to get into this kind of horizontal work and everything. This time around, however, we're going to take that moment when the poi are on the inside to do an isolated, uh, excuse me, a point isolation stall. I keep saying that wrong. So think of it as being that when you do that stall out to the side, you're kind of like letting your entire body come down and around up to make this stopping point here, yeah? Think you're sweeping down and around and then up to reach the end of it. Down and around, up. It's like you're kind of scooping down and then holding on to what you found in the process, yeah? Cool, and from here, we're gonna go ahead and let our hands split back out, and that is us going into these vertical snakes here. Um, we wanna keep this in together opposite, and this basically centers around having your right hand do a beat under your right armpit, and then your left hand doing a beat under your left armpit. Um, go ahead and do it in such a way that you're doing extensions on the way back down. If you need to, you can always do the pedal out to the side if you need to slow this down a little bit and make it feel a little bit more digestible. Um, both are perfectly okay. So ideally, you're going to do right under once, left under once, and when you get back to right under, um, you see how I'm kind of drawing the poi up so that they uh, are kind of winding up with my right hand poi in my armpit and my left hand poi kind of parallel with my shoulders and everything? We're going to use this as a moment to jump into our... Um, uh, our corkscrews. So try and make this feel almost like a float. Like instead of trying to get to this moment right here where the poi are kind of stalling off to the sides and everything, you want to draw the poi up as though you're kind of like breathing in and everything. And from there, that's when you're going to turn around to your left and that's what takes you into that corkscrew moment. So think of it as right under, left under, and as the right comes up, 
boom, we go around to our corkscrews, yeah? And I'm honestly not picky about how you want to end this. Like, you can just bring them to a rest over to your left-hand side and we can call it good, yeah? So let me show you that entire combo again from the top. Sweet, so we do our inspin flowers and we go pedal up top, sides, pedal up top, stall out, and then pick up the poi, drop them back out to the sides and do vertical snakes for me once, twice. On the third time, boom, we go around to our corkscrews and we bring them to a rest over to our left-hand side, yeah? Let's see that again in slow-mo. Sweet. So this was a really fun combo for me to figure out, and I hope it's been a fun one for you to learn. Uh, please post video of yourself doing this combo to Instagram and use the hashtags uh, DrexFactorPoi or DrexChallenge so I can go around and check out your hard work. If you'd like to be featured in my Instagram stories, please post video of yourself doing this combo to your Instagram stories. Um, I will go ahead and copy you if you tag me. I am DrexFactor on Instagram. A huge thank you to my wonderful supporters on Patreon. They make this video and all the videos on this channel possible. Um, if you are interested in signing up to support the work that I do, and if you've got the means, I really appreciate it, and if you don't, I totally understand. But if you would like to, head on over to patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi and sign up. You can get early access to all of my content as well as a say in what topics I tackle in the future. Plus which I post some fun behind the scenes stuff there every once in a while too. So go check that out. All right, so I have either been MIA or giving you very, very difficult combos now for the better part of a month. So um, I swear next week I will be back with a new Drex Challenge combo for you that is going to be significantly less challenging and probably geared towards the multi-prop folks out there and everything, yeah? Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you then. Peace.